to yield or to slow down and the red to stop and those are the, kind of the same type of terms that we use when we talk to the children about asthma and doing their asthma action plan but let me show you how Good. how let's, we let's actually take the temperature here. let's take my temperature this should be fun now the first thing we do is teach them to make sure that the little yellow indicator is on zero so that it's zeroed have them relax <laughs> Take maybe a deep breath and exhale. Then sit up straight. Take a big deep breath in. <sighs> and have them blow out forcefully. Now, kids will really use this um, to, they'll play games with you. And there are times that they'll actually do the spitball effect and try to get the yellow indicator all the way to the end. Sure, and, that can, sure that can, and that can happen. So once you take your breath, shake it down, zero it. And this is what, when you, if you ever see your children cheating, this is the way it looks. Now I probably did, I didn't do a very good job there, yeah, but you well, could well. tell the difference in the sound. Okay. And as a respiratory therapist, that's what we're trying to look for when we're working with the kids. I, uh, well, in my practice, what I've seen, just like kids will take a thermometer and put on the light bulb and mm -hmm. say, Mom, I can't go to school, my temperature is 110. Uh, I've seen it go the other way, too, where they don't really give a very good effort. Uh, how do you encourage them to give that good effort they need to have a reliable measure? You can, there are different, different vision, visual things, like blow out the candles on, on a birthday cake. You're really wanting to take in as deep as breath as you can and forcefully blast out the air and a lot of times we'll make the sound with them and uh, and encourage them to blow out as, as, uh, and blast the air out. One thing that we do is we have them repeat this maneuver three times because we're really wanting to get a good effort. Um, in my experiences there sometimes the children will say oh I don't feel good maybe they don't want to go to class and they can make their peak flow look bad by just giving a poor effort. So it's very important that you get a good effort and that parents know what their children's peak flow should be. Uh, how about some of these other devices here? I see a number of uh, tubes and things with masks. And well, if I can back up just a little bit. Uh, when we're working with children with asthma, we want to find out, do you really have asthma? And so getting the diagnosis is the first step. Once they've been diagnosed, then we start working with them on developing what we call an action plan. And in the, the Doc Monahan packet, 